colleagues for months. The U.S. is planning to put forward a resolution for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza to a vote of the U.N. Security Council on Friday. The resolution text, seen by Reuters, says a, quote, immediate and sustained ceasefire lasting roughly six weeks would protect civilians and allow for the delivery of humanitarian assistance to the enclave, where famine looms due to extreme food shortages. The new resolution also expresses support for the ongoing peace talks in Qatar, mediated by the U.S., Qatar, and Egypt. Negotiations there are focused on a six-week truce and the release of 40 Israeli hostages in return for hundreds of jailed Palestinians. In recent days, Israel has launched attacks on the Al-Shifa hospital in Gaza, where it says Hamas gunmen are holding out, which the militant group denies. As it continues its offensive on the hospital, Israel said it would send its spy chief, David Barnea, to join peace talks in Qatar's capital, Doha, on Friday. Speaking in Cairo on Thursday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken expressed cautious optimism the talks would produce a deal. We've been working, as you know, with Egypt, with Qatar, uh, and with Israel to put a strong proposal on the table. Um, Hamas uh, responded to that. Uh, the negotiators continue to work. Uh, the gaps are narrowing, uh, and we're continuing to push for an agreement in Doha. Uh, there's still difficult work to get there, but I continue to believe uh, it's possible. Those against? Washington has traditionally shielded its longtime ally Israel at the UN. Earlier in the war, the U.S. was averse to the word ceasefire and vetoed measures that included calls for an immediate truce. But in recent weeks, the U.S. has incrementally ramped up pressure on Israel, and the U.N. Security Council resolution marks a further toughening. To pass in the Security Council, a resolution needs at least nine votes in favor and no veto by the U.S., France, Britain, Russia, or China.